met in the summer of 2007. Uh, my business partner and very dear friend, Aaron Boski, threw this huge party for me at Volar. Uh, we were celebrating a typical bull market, high style of champagne, champagne, more champagne. Um, I was at Volar with some friends that night, and one of my girlfriends insisted I join him in the VIP room. She goes, oh, the people are really glamorous, and the guys are really, really cute. And uh, she was right, there were very cute guys there. <laughs> <laughs> and we were hanging out on the uh, we were hanging out on the couch for a little while, talking and, and flirting. I think we flirted for a while. Um, and at the end of the night, we exchanged business cards. And I don't know. I didn't I didn't get the feeling that she was interested in me, so I didn't call her. And uh, actually, I think that worked out in, well in my favor. Because uh, I was wondering after two weeks, like, what's going on? This guy never called me. So uh, what I did was I sent a little photo that I got from Raul, a group shot taken the night we met. And um, I thought I said, don't we all look cute together, meaning the group. Um, turns out, actually, I had said, don't we, the two of us, look cute together. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I actually had to forward that email along to Raul because uh, I think uh, he might have been interested in dating you, so I needed permission. <laughs> but luckily, he gave me permission because uh, two weeks later, we did go on a date. It took a while because you were so busy. But it worked out really well. Yeah, it did. Because here we are. I'm really glad it worked out so well because this man is the love of my life. I uh, adore so many things about him. Uh, one of which is he's really generous and kind and has a good soul. And then a lot of his friends will say the same thing, that he can listen and, and empathize and give really insightful advice. Um, you know, one of the things that I observed was that it, not only is he really smart and knowledgeable about things, but then he always wants to learn more and he's excited and we discuss points and that's really, really um, important for me. And then we have a ball all the time. He's so funny and witty and sharp and, you know, we have a fantastic time all the time. Yeah, whatever we're doing, we actually have a lot of fun together, whether we're just like sitting around at home or on vacation or off for dinner. Uh, we can always have a lot of fun. And that's one of the things I noticed about you right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Wherever she went, she was the center of attention. So I, that, that was really cool. And actually, for two people who come from such very different places, we have a lot in common. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why we get along so well. Uh, well. 
Um, and you're, you're just very sweet. She's very sweet, very generous, very caring, takes really good care of me. Um, I couldn't ask for a better person. I knew I wanted to be with Alan for the rest of my life, probably from the beginning. I fell head over heels in love with him. I was pretty much gushing after the first date. So as far as I was concerned, as long as nothing majorly negative happened, I was all in all the time. I was crazy about Karen right from the beginning. Our first date was amazing. And unfortunately, though, I had to go away for a business trip for a month right afterwards. But I kept on thinking about her this whole, this whole time. And when I finally got back, we were basically inseparable from then on. And um, my friend Aaron, he said that, that you were the one. And he was right. I think the only doubt that I had um, from that point on was the fact that, uh, that, that she wasn't Jewish. But... Um, Thank God for Sex in the City. <laughs> because I think any woman who's seen Sex in the City knows that Jewish guys like Jewish girls. And um, she actually brought it up to me because I didn't want to bring it up to her. And was on a trip when we went to uh, Europe during the summer of 2008. We went on this great trip to Spain, uh, Madrid, Ibiza, to France and south of France and Paris. And we were sitting outside in this cafe and uh, she asked me, why is it you never asked me to convert? And uh, she said that she wanted to do it. And I think that removed that last piece of doubt. Um, and I'm happy that she brought it up. Because and now I'm we're on this, too. yeah, now we're on this amazing trip of life together. I'm happy that she's with me. <laughs>